Hello everybody, uh, today I wanted to show you how I inlay the top of this sideboard. Um, I'm making this sideboard uh, to match this dining table which is completed. Um, you can see the inlay in this dining table, uh, it's 5 16 wide um, and I'm doing a matching inlay in the top of this sideboard which will actually be just a quarter inch wide, it's slightly scaled down uh, to suit the overall size of this top. So you can see that I've already completed quite a bit of the process. Um, I've routed out these channels uh, which are going to take these lines of Wenge um, and when you're done routing with, uh, with this rusty beast right here, um, it leaves all the corners rounded and these first of all have to be squared off by hand with a chisel and I'll quickly show you how I do that. So we like to just creep up on it so the bevel of the chisel doesn't force the cut beyond the line you want. Let me turn that around and Carefully square up that corner. So, same with this one here. This requires an extremely sharp chisel. You should be able to shave the hairs on your arm with it before you start. Maybe in another video one day I'll show you how you sharpen a chisel. Sharp enough so you can shave with it. Anyway, there we have the, uh, the channels are squared out. So that's ready to take the inlay. I'll just clean this one up a little bit there. Get the detritus off the bottom of the groove. There, that's ready to go. So, um, I've already cut some of the pieces for this. The idea is that these long lines um, will meet these cross pieces here. So this, the fit should be, so you have to actually press it into the groove. It should offer some resistance, and if it does, then you know you've got a good fit. So there's that piece there. And then this long piece will butt to that. So, and that gets pressed in all the way down the line here. Eventually this is gonna get hammered right to the bottom of the groove uh, once there is um, glue in the groove. But so clearly this is just a dry fit now. And then here are some little pieces which I've cut. Um, so little miters and these will just fit nicely like this. These are pieces I cut earlier. Then this one shows the line jumping over that one. So this one has a butt joint here and a miter joint there. And then when that's all done, we go all the way around the piece and all of this gets flushed off. And then when it's finished, with any luck, it'll look something like this one. So that's how I do a basic inlay for a tabletop.